Welcome to my Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi Battle Series. Today we're showcasing a real powerhouse, Red Riot Cypher. This set gives Cypher a fierce edge, making it an unstoppable force with moves that pack a punch. We've got some intense battles lined up and Red Riot Cypher is ready to slash through the competition. If you're hyped to see this unique Cypher in action, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more exciting battles. Let's dive in. Okay, Captain Falcon's brought a pretty cool team with a Ribombe, Goldengo, Dragonite, Great Tusk, Okapon, Wellspring, and a Jolteon. Pretty fast, scary team. Um, Ribombe is probably going to be the lead, so I might just lead off with Cypher straight away and go for a dual wing beat. That's probably for the best. Um, and then we just kind of go from there. Volcanion looks like it's going to put some work in as well. Uh, Articuno 2 with the Dragonite. I think this is going to be a fun game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Falcon. So they're going to lead off with Ribombe as expected as I led off with my Cypher now. I'm hoping we see a Sticky Webs here because then we can KO this thing with Dual Wing Beat, which would be great. So I'm going to go for the Dual Wing Beat straight off the bat. Uh, hopefully they don't Stun Sport because if they Stun Sport, they go for a Sticky Web. That's great. So we can rip its Rapid Spinners away eventually. Um, so it's not to the end of the world. As I go for a Dual Wing Beat, which definitely KOs Ribombe despite the Focus Sash, thanks to it hitting twice. Um, so right off the bat, Cypher gets a KO, which is awesome against the Ribombe. There we go. Um, Cypher's going to be great for the Ogre Pond as well. And it's also going to be uh, decent against the Great Tusk, um, for example. Um, so I think, I think Cypher could potentially do well this game. All right, Great Tusk comes in. That's an interesting choice. So with the Great Tusk in, we are officially afraid. It's going to get a booster energy, which is going to boost its what? Attack? Defense? Attack. Okay, so we know it's an offensive Great Tusk at least. Um, we definitely want to get out of there. They do out, we do outspeed them, but I don't know. Do we do we Terra here? Or do we U-turn? I'm going to U-turn. I think I'm going to get be safe in U-turn here. So we U-turn. Um, based on that damage, I'm pretty confident Jewel Wingbeat wouldn't have KO'd. So I'm glad I did do, do what I'm doing now. Now, I have a feeling they're going to go for a Rapid Spin to try and do something there. But I, I know they won't go for an Earthquake. I think I'm going to go Volcanion. It's a risky play because they could go for an Earthquake. But I doubt they would have done that against the Cypher. Um, so let's see how this plays out. So we get caught in the sticky webs, so it's fine. It's fine. They go for an ice spinner. That's going to bounce right off us, of course. Um, and now if we assume they're going to go for an earthquake, we should double out into Great Tusk. And then Earth knock off ourselves to get rid of the... Yeah, I think Great Tusk is fine here. Um, so we'll go ahead and withdraw the Volcanium. We'll get Great Tusk in, um, which is going to be great for us. Because they have to go into Goldengo if they want to keep the sticky webs up, right? So Sticky Web is digging into Great Tusk, which is fine. Now they go for a Earthquake. That's fine. We know it's got Earthquake and Ice Spinner, so we know it's a more offensive set. And we're going to eat that all like it's nothing. It did, did do a decent amount, to be fair. So not necessarily nothing. Not necessarily nothing. So let's go for a... I want to go for a Rapid Spin, but I feel like they're going to switch out into Goldengo. I'm going to go for a knockoff, predicting the Goldengo to switch in. They do withdraw the Great Tusk, because they want to keep Sticky Webs up, right? Gee, that's going to be the Goldengo, surely. It is the Goldengo. So Goldengo comes in. It floats in the air with Air Balloon. That's why I went for a knockoff because Air Balloon is pretty common on Goldengo. So we knock off their um, Air Balloon, which is just going to pop in reality. Um, and we get some health back with the leftovers. So now that we've done that, we can Earthquake the Goldengo on a potential switch in later. So let's switch out. Um, what's our best Pokemon to switch in here? Uh, if we assume they're going to go for a Make It Rain or a Shadow Ball, more than likely the sh Shadow Ball predicting this thing to come in. Then we should switch out ourselves. I'm, I'm leaning towards Volcanion. Because Volcanion resists the Make It Rain if they do go for it. But I'm confident they can also take a Shadow Ball no problem. The only problem is outspeeding this thing the next turn. We could outspeed. It depends. They look like they're a bulkier set by the way they took that knockoff. So we might still outspeed despite the Sticky Webs. Because um, of our Choice Scarf. So they go for a Dazzling Gleam. Which is even better. Because we resist that and it's not stabbed and it's weaker. Um, so now I'm just going to go for a Fire Blast and hope for the best here. All right, they're going to Terror. What type are they going to Terror into? Now that they've Terrored, as well, if they're not Terror Ghost here, we can Rapid Spin freely on them. So they are Terror Water, which is great. Because um, it means Scyther can now do some damage to it as well, which is pretty awesome. Um, so we go for a Fire Blast. It's going to bounce right off the Goldengo, obviously. Still does a nice chunk of damage to it um, as they go for a Nasty Plot. Now this is fine. Because we outspeed this thing with Cypher. And we can still go for another Fire Blast here. Which will take it down pretty low on HP. Um, if we can connect. Which we don't. So we miss the, the Fire Blast. It's fine. Um, they go for a Recover. Oh, they're a bulky set with Recover. Interesting. Interesting. So we can still use Volcanion. 
I don't necessarily need it to go down. They won't go for a make it rain here. I think we can go into Articuno and do more damage to it with freeze dry than they can recover. So we might be able to pull something like that off. As long as they don't go for a make it rain on the switch in, which they might do, but I don't think they will. We exert some pressure as well, which will lower the amount of times they can go for recover. They go for a shadow ball at plus two. We should be able to take one of those. We do take one of those nicely. And then we just go for a freeze dry. Like I said, we shut out speed and it's super effective against it now. Freeze dry comes through. It's going to sting quite a bit, the Golden Go. As there we go, it stings quite a bit. They go for a shadow ball. That's going to take out Articuno. But Articuno did the job. It got, you know, it... It, um, it weakened the Goldengo to the point now where we can bring Cypher back in. And Cypher is a very good um, Pokemon for this situation. Because we have the Heavy Dew Boots for a start. But we're also flying type. So we're literally never affected by that Sticky Webs. I look at him hovering over him like nothing. Um, so now we just go for a Jewel Wing Beat. And that should take care of the Goldengo no problem. Um, they can't really switch much else in either. Um, so they have to stay in and take it as they do. Jewel Wing Beat, I think that Freeze Dry weakened it just enough for Jewel Wing Beat to take it out as Goldengo goes down to the power of Cypher, which is fantastic. But obviously, it's not about just Cypher. It's about the team as a whole. You know, one Pokemon can't do it all by itself. It's part of a team for a reason. All right, Dragonite's the one that's going to come in, which is interesting. So we know this thing's going to go for a Dragon Dance here. Now, do we have anything to stop that? Uh, I guess we have Great Tusk if we can get the Stealth Rocks um, away. and no, the Sticky Web is away. Um, we also have Terror Blast on the Zip Striker. But again, this thing's going to go ahead and just tear us all a new one. Um, right now, it's going to go for its Dragon Dance, which is very, very threatening. So let's go for a Jewel Wing Beat and just break that multi-scale. There we go. A bit, a bit of damage and then a bit of secondary damage as well. Takes it down to nearly half. So we know the next Jewel Wing Beat will take it out. So they go for a Dragon Dance. Now... I have a feeling they're going to go for a fire punch here. So I'm half tempted to Terra. But I think we can live a fire punch. So I'm going to go for another dual wing beat here. They go for a dragon claw anyway. So it's a good job we didn't Terra there. We do live. Cypher coming in clutch. Taking out the Dragonite after living a plus one dragon claw. What a legend. Absolute beast mode right there. So now they can just go into their Jolteon, which would be, which is going to be fun. All right, Jolteon, the tre treasure hunter comes in nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. Um, we definitely, we unfortunately go down here with Cypher, but we could still use it for the Great Tusk, um, which, you know, it definitely could be useful there. So I am going to switch out here. I'm going to go into Zeb Striker. Now, the reason I'm going to Zeb Striker is because it's an interesting choice. Zeb Striker gets the ground type move high horsepower, which is going to be great for taking care of fellow electric types. So we withdraw Cypher. Again, we can use it for the Great Tusk. No problem. We've got Heavy Dew Boots, so even if it's up Stealth Rocks, we're still going to be fine. Um, we go, we go into Wild, which is going to be the Zeb Striker, like so. We get caught in the Sticky Webs, but it's fine. It's absolutely fine. And um, there you go for a Calm Mind. Okay. Now, did they already Terra? I don't think they did Terra their Goldengo. So that, that's that's nothing to worry about uh, Terra wise against this thing. So let's go for a high horsepower here. And um, they do go for a Terra Blast at plus one, which is definitely going to sting. Not enough to KO Zeb Striker over here as we go for a high horsepower, which takes out the Jolteon to its Sash. Ah, it's a Sash Jolteon. Interesting. So that's very interesting. So, um, right. Left, right, left. Uh, let's go for a... We have to go for another high horsepower here, but they're going to take it out with a Terra Blast anyway. Because there we go. Terra Blast is going to take out Zeb Striker. So Zeb Striker goes down, but it's not the end of the world because now we're in a much more better position because we can just go into Great Tusk and Rapid Spin KO this thing. Because they can't Terra Ice Terra Blast us. It has to be the normal type variant. So we can just go for a Rapid Spin here, get rid of those Sticky Webs for good, and now Volcanion is actually going to be more of an asset to us. So let's go for a Rapid Spin real quick. Terra Blast comes through. I'm pretty confident we can live this if the, the Striker could. So there we go. And we go for a Rapid Spin that's going to take out the Jolteon, give us a nice speed boost back to neutral speed. And then um, we get rid of the Sticky Webs as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So with Jolteon gone, that's one less threat for our Cypher, which is fantastic. All right, Great Tusk comes in. This thing is a threat right here. Especially if they go for a rapid spin, but I have to assume that they're not going to do. I have to assume the. Uh, what are they going to do here? I guess we just go for a, an earthquake. I guess we just go for an earthquake and see what they're going to do. They go for a rapid spin to get the speed boost. 
So now they outspeed everything on my team pretty much. We go for an earthquake. That's going to definitely sting a little bit, but not too much. We already know that we use their item because they were booster energy earlier. So we can't go for a knockoff to help out the team. Um, they they de We definitely go for another earthquake here. They go for a bulk up. Ah, oh, they're a bulk up set. Never mind. It's over. All over. It's all over now. We go for an earthquake. Great Tusk could make a really big comeback here. They're Great Tusk could. Um, we had him on the ropes for a bit, but you know, the Great Tusk with his rapid spin bulk up set is always a great late game cleaner. So let's go for another earthquake because we don't know whether they're going to attack or not. They go for an ice spinner, which is definitely going to sting. Can we live? We don't live at plus one. No, no, no way. No way, Jose. Uh, Tusk can go down. So our best bet right now, because we haven't terra yet, is a Volcanion because we have Terra Grass. So let's go Volcanion real quick. Volcanion can finish up this game, hopefully. Volcano comes in. We're not affected by sticky webs anymore. We go for a Terra Grass and we go for a Steam Eruption uh, or a Fire Blast. I think Fire Blast is better because if they switch into Ogre Palm, we can at least do something about it. No, we go for a Steam Eruption. We always go for a Steam Eruption here. So we Terra Grass, Steam Eruption, just so that we, we have a less chance of missing. It's still got a chance of missing, but not as high, not as high a chance of missing as Fire Blast does. And at least because we Terra Grass, we have a little bit more recoverability. So... Because um, the only thing they can hit us with is a non-stabbed ice spinner. So, they go for an EQ. That's fine. And uh, we're going to eat that. Still does a lot of damage. And then we just go for a steam eruption right now. Which is going to take out the Great Tusk. Which is fantastic. So, with Great Tusk out of the way. We've just got Ogre Pond Wellspring to take care of. Now, we can take care of that with Volcanion. I have no doubt in my mind. They can't terrestrialize to get that special defense boost. Nothing. They are a water grass type. And we have Sludge Wave. So... Um, what I'm going to do here is a bit, bit anticlimactic for the Cypher video. Let's go into Cypher and sack it off. Cypher did really well this game though, so it's definitely going to be included in the video. But Volcanion is clearly the winner of this game. As we go into Cypher just to sack it off right now. They go for a sword stance. Ooh. Dangerous. Gotta love it. So we go for a dual wing beat here just all the time. We don't outspeed though, so they go for a U-turn that's going to take us out. No problem there. Cypher goes down. We initially wanted this to be taken down anyway. But now we're in a bit more of a pickle because it really depends whether we can take out this thing with a sludge wave or not. Now, I want to go into Slow King because I believe Slow King can live an Ivy Cudgel and go for a sludge bomb. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we can finish it off with a Volcanion sludge wave. I'm not confident sludge wave will KO at all. So we go for a sludge bomb here, just in case we can live an Ivy Cudgel, which I, I have my doubts. Yeah, my doubts were well doubted. So sl unfortunately, Sloking can't live a Ivy Cudgel. And it's up to Volcanion Sludge Wave now. Volcanion has a respectable special attack stat. It's got a very high special attack stat. It's just a matter of whether or not we can take it or not, because then um, maybe I should have baited the Ivy Cudgel and gone into Volcanion then. Now the Swords Dance anyway, they're going to take us out with U turn regardless, if we can't take them out with a Sludge Wave. So let's go for a Sludge Wave now. Boom. Doesn't quite get the job done, unfortunately, as they go for a U-turn. That's going to finish the job. So, Volcanion goes down. We barely lose by the skin of our teeth. And there was no hacks, really, that game either, which is nice. It was just pure good game. GG Captain Falcon. That was a really fun one. I enjoyed that. All right, E60 or Andy has brought a pretty cool looking team with the Ninetales, Leafeon combo, a Swampert, Ambibomb, Hisuian Typhlosion, do they know? And Galvantula. So... I'm looking at this, so they're probably lead off with Ninetales, right? So we probably got to lead off with some counter like that. I'm thinking Zeb Striker, but Swamp Pit could be a lead, so that might not be the best option. Um, I'm also thinking about um, Slowbro, so we can chilly reception the sun if they lead with Ninetales. So I think I will do that. I think that's probably the best option to go for here, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Andy. So they're going to lead off with Vulnona, which is the Ninetales, which is great. And uh, we lead off with Slow King, which is great. So we've, we've perfectly, like, let off, really. Because we can immediately get rid of that sun. So let's go for a chilly reception real quick and get on out of there. They go for a will o -Wisp. Now, the reason I didn't go for a future site there is because I didn't want them to encore me into future site if they have encore. So them burning us is fine. We're just going to go ahead and get rid of the sun with a chilly reception. There we go. Chilly reception comes through. Boom. Looking pretty good right now. So, 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 so. What do we do now? I think I think our best bet's either going to be... Because we, we've got to remember it can burn us. 
I think our best bet is going to be the uh, Articuno into Terra Ground. I think. Articuno does pretty well against their entire team, to be fair. Um, or we can use the Strike and go for High Horsepower. That's also an option. Um, we could go Volcanion, actually. Volcanion is a solid option because Steam Eruption does so well against their team. So we'll go Volcanion now. There we go. And we'll go Steam Eruption straight away. There's no real reason not to. So they withdraw Ninetales. What are they going to go into to take Steam Eruption except from the Leafeon? Uh, Sunpex, the Reliable Partner, comes in. That's going to be the Swampert. Interesting choice. So we go for a Steam Eruption. It's going to do a lot of damage. And does half. And it does burn them, which is awesome. So they got to burn on me. I got to burn on them. Which is great. So now the Swampert is here. Once this thing's gone, Zip Striker can start going for its Supercell Slams, which would be great. And the burn's going to negate the leftovers that they have, which is awesome. And now we just go simply for another Steam Eruption. There's no real reason not to. Steam Eruption comes through. And that's a dead Swampert. So Swampert goes down with a crit. Crit didn't matter. Well, we know that it didn't matter because the first one did over half. Um, so that's that's great. With Swampert out of the way, we, we have got a lot more leeway with um, with Zeb Striker. All right, Ambidiffle, which is going to be the Ambipom, right? I recognize the name Ambidiffle. I think it's like a, 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 a another country's name. I don't know what it is, though. Um, they go for a fake out here all the time, though. That's definitely going to be happening to us. So um, I think our best bet is to just stay in and go for a, a Steam Eruption, not Fire Blast. So they go for a fake out, which is fine. It's going to be boosted by Normal Gem. Oh, it is. Nice. That's going to do some serious damage to us. Uh, it does have a half of a critical hit as well. That's, that's unfortunate. And we do flinch, of course, because of the fake out. So uh, let's go for a Steam Eruption again this time. It should do a lot of damage to the Amber Pump. It probably won't take them out, though. Steam Eruption comes through. We are true scarfs. So we have speed. And they nearly get KO'd, which is great. They go for a knockoff. Good play. Because um, now we're not going to outspeed the next turn. And Volcanion's nearly dead. So we may as well just let it go down here. So let's go for a Steam Eruption now. They go for a U turn, which isn't going to KO us, which means we get a free Steam Eruption off on something. Um, I personally would have gone for. Uh, they don't have double hit? Maybe not have double hit. That's fair enough if they don't. So, alright, Volchula comes in. That's the Galvantula. Not going to be able to take a Steam Eruption that well, to be fair. Volcanion is putting the pressure on, but they are choice uh, focus sashed, which is good to know. But if we get the burn here, which we don't, we'd have been all right. But let's go for another steam eruption just in case they don't KO us and they go for a sticky webs. They go for an energy ball, which will definitely KO us. That's a good play as well because I could have gone into my uh, great tusk there. So good play on their behalf. Uh, finishes off with the energy ball. Made sense. So now, now, ah, this is the, this is the good part. I'm looking at their team, and not a lot wants to take on Articuno. Not a lot wants to take on Articuno right now. All we need to do is Terra Ground. However, upon Terra Grounding, we become weak to Leafeon in the sun. So we've got to be careful here, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I'm going to bring Articuno in, like so. Here we go, Black Ice, Articuno is here. Exerting some pressure, of course. And I'm just going to go for a Terra Ground... And I'll go for a... What's the, what's the best one to go for here? Probably Terra Blast, right? Yeah, Terra Blast is probably the best option, just in case they switch. So we Terra Ground, and we're going to go for that Terra Blast, which is going to be great. Like so. There we go. Boom. Now, we're in a very good position. Unless they predict the Terra Ground and go for an Energy Ball, we should be all right here to get a KO. So they do go for a Vol Switch, and that fails, of course, which means we get a KO on the Galvantula with the Terra Blast. Which is absolutely fantastic. So Articuno is slaying right now. Boom, as Galvantula goes down. That's probably one of the best Pokemon they had to touch one of our Pokemon. Um, so Galvantula going down is great. Absolutely amazing. Vulnona comes in. That is going to be the Ninetales, right? Yeah, the Ninetales comes in. Getting the Drought up, which is fantastic for them. I'm going to go for another Terra Blast. I don't see any reason not to. So they're going to Terra themselves with the Ninetales. What are they going to Terra into? Are they going to go Grass with their Solar Beam? Maybe. Ghost. Interesting. So they go Terra Ghost, which is very cool. Um, Terra Ghost Ninetales is very, not one I've seen a lot. But we outspeed them, so they must be a more defensive variant, which is good to know. As Terra Blast should do around half. Never mind. There's no damage. As they go for a nasty plot. So this thing just turned into a big threat real quick. Because we know Articuno outspeeds it, we also know a lot of other Pokemon outspeed it. So for example, Zeb Striker. So what we should do here is we should go into our Glorian Slowking. Then we should go for all oh, the... If they Hex here, we're actually going to be screwed. So we'll withdraw our Articuno for now. We'll bring it back later. And we're going to Drip Queen. And what we're going to try and do here is go for a Chilly Reception, pretty much. And I'm hoping they don't go for a Hex here. They go for another Nasty Plot, getting themselves to plus four. 
If they hex us, it's going to sting quite a bit because it's Terra Ghost and we're burned. So it's really going to sting. But there is a chance we live. So let's go for a Chili Reception real quick. They go for a Baton Pass. Ooh, someone's not following Smoke on Rules. That's all right, don't matter. I'm not bothered. Let's see how, how this plays out, really. Let's just see how this plays out because they got, they got a plus four nasty plot. They're going to go into Torn Up to. That's going to be the Typhlosion, isn't it? That's a killer strategy right there. So they find our Heavy Dew Boots. It's whatever. We tell a chillingly bad joke. And we're going to get on out of there. So and that's great. So the fact that they are plus four special attack and probably choice scarfed tells me that we're kind of boned. Because Eruption is going to come through now. Um, first we're going to Zeb Striker right now, right? We're going to Wild. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And then we go for a high horsepower and hope they are not choice scarfed. They withdraw. They must not be choice scarfed. So that's fine. Good to know. And they go into Follow Purba. Which is, of course, the Leafeon. Leafeon comes in, takes a high horsepower to the face. And take it while it does, which is good to know. Um, now, I'm leaning towards Cypher. Or Articuno. I'm leaning towards Cypher, though, more. So I'm going to switch out my Zeb Striker. And I'm going to go into Cypher. I think that's the best way to go about this. So Reaper can come in. There we go. And uh, they go for a knockoff, knocking off a heavy duty boost. That's fine. It does, it does half. Half? Are they banded or something? Like, wow. Either way, we should go for a dual wing beat here and try and get the KO here. They do withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? Ninetales? Volnona. That was the Ninetales, yeah. Okay, so Ninetales comes in. It gets the Drought up, which is unfortunate. We go for a dual wing beat. That should nearly KO. It does nearly KO. But it doesn't quite get the job done. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Let's go for another dual wing beat and hope for the best. They withdraw. They get the sun up and withdraw. What are they going to go into, though? Oh, Ampipom. Interesting choice. So Ampipom comes in to die. As we go for a dual wing beat. Cypher's putting the pressure on right now, which is fantastic. They can't terror with Leafeon. We know that. We have a good chance of winning this right now. Tornopto comes through, and that's going to be the Typhlosion. So Typhlosion being here is really good for them. Um, I'm going to go for a U-turn because I'm pretty sure they're not scarfed. Otherwise, they would have attacked earlier. We go for a U-turn. That's going to do no damage whatsoever, but it does lower their power if they are an eruption variant. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll sack off. No. Do we sack? Do we sack? Do we sack? I'm going to go into Great Tusk because Great Tusk is not very useful this game. There's no hazards or anything like that. We do get a Protosynthesis in our defense, which is fantastic, but it's not going to help us against Typhlosion. As they go for an extra sensory, which will KO us, because they are definitely choice spec. Never mind, it was a crit. Hard to tell then. Hard to tell then, because it was a crit. So we, we'll see if we've got Life Orb or not. Um, no Life Orb by the looks of it. So let's go into RTQ now. And we'll go for that Terra Ground real quick. So we'll go RTQ now. Get the pressure exerted, which is always nice. And we'll go for a Terra Blast. I don't see any reason not to. Terra Blast comes through. We do outspeed, of course. I think it's a speed tie. We go for the Terra Blast. That should KO the Typhlosion from there. It does, which is fantastic. So Articuno is claiming another soul. Awesome stuff. Foley Purba comes in. That's going to be the Leafeon. And I'm pretty confident a Freeze Dry will KO here. So I'm going to go for it. I'm pretty sure they won't. Oh, we have Solar Blade instead of Leaf Blade. Oh, that, that might KO us. There is a chance we live. I think. I hope. No, no, no. There's no chance we live. So Articuno goes down there, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's see what we can do with Cypher now. I think Cypher can do this. So let's go Cypher now. Reaper. There we go. It's flying because Articuno was out before it. We now go. Oh, I went for Souls. That's by accident. They go for a Solar Blade, which should bounce off us, to be fair. Shouldn't do too much damage to us. Um, let's see. Let's just let's find out. Oh, it's not a 2 hit KO, which is nice. We go for a Swords Dance. I don't know why I went for a Swords Dance. I just double clicked by accident, which is like a rookie mistake. Um, but now we'll go for a Dual Wing Beat here. They go for a knockoff. That's going to KO us, unfortunately. So Cypher doesn't get to do its thing. I made a blunder. I definitely made a blunder there. Cypher could have won this game for us. Instead, we're going to have to rely on their Zeb Striker. Which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So let's go Zeb Striker now. 
And, uh, can't really do anything. They go for a Solar Blade, which is great. That's going to give us a nice Sap Sipper boost. They obviously didn't realize we were Sap Sipper, which is great. We go for a Supercell Slam. Best move we've got to hit it with. It KOs. A critical hit. Oh, wow. Another roller coaster game. Another roller coaster game of crits and stuff. Interesting. So the Harsh Light does fade. And there's the Ninetales coming in. Nice and Terra Ghost. And then we just go for a Supercell Slam real quick. So Supercell Slam comes through. And we do, in fact, miss. Crashing. And they just go for a Flamethrower in the Sun, which is going to definitely KO us. Yep. This game just took a turn. This game just took a turn. I suppose I deserve that for the crit, right? Yeah, probably. Let's go Slow King though. I'm pretty confident Slow King can finish the game off here. So we'll bring Slow King in. There's nothing this Ninetales can really do to us. So I'll go for a Sludge Bomb and get the KO. They go for a Flamethrower. It's going to sting a little bit. Not too much though. And then we just go for a Sludge Bomb and KO the Ninetales. That's going to be the game. So GGE60. That was a pretty fun one. And he, they found out the hard way. That's um, Zeb Strike is immune to grass. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Odie has brought a pretty cool team with the three stars Sceptile, Embor, and Hisui and Samurott, Great Tusk, Petrant, and of course the Magnezone. So, pretty cool stuff. I'm looking at this matchup. I'm thinking they probably lead off with the Ceaseless Edge Samurott. Um, I think I'm safe to lead off with Cypher and just U turn on whatever they lead off with. I think that's the good of the case. Um, Volcano looks like it does really well here as well. Um, with the Choice Scarf, because that Petron is obviously going to be... Um, Articuno will be good for the Petron, to be fair, with Terra Blast. So let's just go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, OD. So they're going to lead off with Samurai, as I expected. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. And we lead off with Scizor, so... Uh, Cypher, sorry, not Scizor. Um, Would have been better if it was a Scizor, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to use Cypher, so let's, let's just leave it at that. So let's go for a U-turn straight away. So they withdraw Samurai. They're obviously not Choice Scarf, if that's the case. Um, or slash they just don't want to take on an Evi a potentially Eviolite Cypher. They go into Great Tusk, which is going to be great for them as we go for a U-turn, which does a nice little bit of damage to them, nothing too drastic. They're not Rocky Helmet, which is good to know. They're probably Leftovers, if anything, because they don't have Booster Energy. So I think our best bet is going to be Articuno here. So I'm going to go into Articuno now. And we'll just fire off a Freeze Dry. This will bait in the Magnezone as well, so we can go for the Terra Blast. Um, potentially, potentially, potentially. Or the Embor, one of the two. So let's go for a freeze dry real quick. So they withdraw Great Tusk. Are they going to go Embor or Magnezone? One of the two. Magnezone, the chosen one, comes in, which is fantastic for us. Hopefully they've got an air balloon that we can pop. Um, they don't. So we go for a freeze dry here, and it's going to do diddly squat. No freeze either, which is nice. Now we're going to Terra Blast, Terra, Terra Ground, Terra Blast, pretty much. All right, so we're going to Terra Terrestrialize into a ground type real quick. Like so. I love the Terrestrialization mechanic. It's so awesome. The creative ways you can use it. As Terra Ground Articuno is going to come through with the Black Ice. And we're going to Terra Blast this thing in the face right now. Which would be fantastic. So let's go for it. Terra Blast comes through. They didn't expect it. So they didn't Terra or switch out. And Terra Blast is going to cleanly take out that Magnezone. No, no doubt in my mind. There we go. Magnezone goes down. Which is fantastic. So with Magnezone out of the way. We are in a much better position. Samurott the Snow Frolicker comes in. Awesome. This thing can raise the shallows into oblivion right now, so we're going to have to switch out. I'm going to go into my uh, Volcanion. I think Volcanion is a sound choice here because they likely go for a razor shell, right? And we can get that water absorb. So Volcanion comes through. There we go. They do go for a Ceaseless Edge instead, which is going to sting a little bit, but not too much. Gets the stealth uh, spikes up Sorry, on our side of the field. Um, and what we can do here is, because they could be Focus Sashed, we should go for an Earth Power, I think. Yeah, Earth Power makes the most sense. So they go for another Caesar's Edge, proving they are Choice Scarf, because they outsped us. Which is interesting. So they obviously didn't think that Caesar's Edge would KO our Cypher, because it could have been a Violite. We go for an Earth Power. It's going to sting a little bit. Nothing too drastic. And now, now that we know they're locked in, we go into Great Tusk. We go into Great Tusk and we Rapid Spin straight away. No, we don't. We go for a knockoff because Petron's going to come in, if that's the case. So we'll bring Tuscany in now. Get some Spikes damage, which is unfortunate. They go for his new Ceaseless Edge and get the third layer of Spikes up, which is great for them. Great for them. Articuno is going to be the clutch player of this game, though. I can tell. So we get some leftover recovery, of course, after two layers of Spikes damage. And now we predict the Petron to come in and we go for... I want to go for a knockoff. I'm going to go for a knockoff. They do withdraw the Samurai, of course. Are they going to go Petron to block the Rapid Spin? Yeah, Petron comes in to block the Rapid Spin, but of course... 
We do have moves to hit Petrol and knock off an Earthquake. So knock off comes through. Does a nice solid chunk of damage to them and gets rid of their red card. Interesting. So that's great. The red card came through from there. Well, it came through for us, sorry, by knocking it off. Um, so now what do we do? I'm guessing we have to go to Slow King. Slow King makes sense. Yeah, we go Slow King here. They actually make a double themselves. Are they going to go back into Samurott? Sceptile. Interesting choice. So Sceptile comes in nice and shiny as well. Gotta love it. And then we withdraw Great Tusk. Um, okay. Drip Queen comes in. Like so. There is the Drip Queen. Let's go for a Thunder Wave first and foremost. They withdraw the Sceptile, as expected. Hopefully the Great Tusk isn't what's coming in. No, it's the Petron. That's great. So we get the Thunder Wave on the Petron, which is nice. And then we get, yeah, there we go. Thunder Wave comes through. We don't miss, which is great. Petron is now paralyzed. And then all we need to go is go for a future site, really, and force the uh, Samurai to come in. So let's go for a future site now. They withdraw the Petron. Not wanting to get hit by a psychic type move, probably. And they go into Samurai now. Okay. Samurai is here. Future site comes through. Like so. And then all we do here is we hard switch into Great Tusk. Pretty much. So we're going to go into Great Tusk now. And we should be able to take care of this um, Samurai. Hopefully, we force the switch into Petron. That's what I'm hoping for. So we get the spikes damage, which is unfortunate. They go for a Ceaseless Edge, which is going to bounce right off us, obviously. And now we get to go for a Earthquake instead on the Petron. And because it's paralyzed, we outspeed it. So Great Tusk can deal with this thing, no problem. So let's go for EQ now. They go for another Ceaseless Edge, letting us take them down. As uh, we go for an EQ right now, which is, of course, going to take out the Samurai, no doubt in my mind. Samurai goes down, which is fantastic. So uh, they're putting up a good fight, but you know what? I think Articuno can definitely take it from here. Embor comes in. Interesting choice. So Embor is here, nice and shiny as well. Um, What are they going to do to us? Should I sack? I'll try and rapid spin, I guess. They go for an Endure. Ah, okay. They must be Salak Berry then. So we go for a rapid spin and get rid of those spikes, which is fantastic. Now, Volcanion is looking pretty good. Because they already tried to go for the Endure as well, um, that means they're not gonna, it's going to fail this next turn, more than likely. But I want to get the Stealth Rocks up. I want to get the Stealth Rocks up really bad. I'll get the Stealth Rocks up because I, I don't know what this thing is going to do. So they go for another Endure, which is going to fail again. Well, it, it works, but we didn't attack it. So we go for a Stealth Rocks. There we go. Get them Stealth Rocks up on their side of the field, which is fantastic. And then this time, the Endure should fail because it's, it's twice in a row is, is not unheard of. Third time in a row, though, definitely. Earthquake comes through. They didn't Endure this time as the Embor goes down to the Great Tusk's Earthquake. So the Embor is proving to be the um, weaker of the Tusk's Pokemon. All right, Great Tusk comes in. Their own Great Tusk comes in. This thing's a threat, so we need to be careful here. So I'm going to sack off Volcanion right now. So we'll sack off Volcanion. Just to get a free switch in with Articuno. I think Articuno can take on this, uh, this Great Tusk, no problem. I think. So they go for a Rapid Spin, so now they outspeed us. Ah. They get the Stealth Rocks, the Stealth Rocks go as well, which is unfortunate, but it's, it's, it is what it is with those. So the stones disappear, and now we go Articuno. We always go Articuno here. Definitely our best bet to handle this thing. So Arctrax comes in. Like so. We exert some pressure, not that it matters. We hope this thing's not fully offensive for a start. Um, with Freeze Dry KO, I think we have to risk a hurricane, right? Yeah, we risk a hurricane. They withdraw the Great Tusk. What are they going to go into to stick a hurricane? Petrun? Petrun's coming in. Nice. Petrun's going to get hit by a hurricane. We do hit the hurricane as well, which is nice. And it nearly gets the job done. Now all we need to do is go for a freeze dry to KO. Yeah, we go for a terrible last here all the time. Yeah, why would I go for a freeze dry when there's a chance it won't kill? There's a chance it won't kill. So, um, yeah, we go for the terrible blast. Down goes the Petron, which is awesome. And then we just got Great Tusk and Sceptile to deal with. All right, Sceptile comes in. So this thing, we are at full HP. So we should be able to take a hit from this thing. We need to hit a hurricane. So I'm going to go for a Hurricane now. They do Terror. What type are they going to Terror into, though? Flying? Or Fire, maybe? 
Psychic. Oh, that's an interesting one. I've not seen Terra Psychic uh, set down before. That's, that's pretty cool, though. So, they go for a Leaf Storm and miss. We go for a Hurricane. Oh, wait. Are they, are they Blunder Policy? They're Blunder Policy. And we miss a Hurricane as well. Wow, okay. Um, Blunder Policy. I've not seen that one before. So now they go for a Leaf Storm. Which stings us very much so, and it goes us, unfortunately. So, Sceptile goes to take, takes down Articuno. now. But you know what? It's not the end of the world, because we do have Cypher in the back, which is awesome. So, let's see how this plays out real quick. So, the Reaper comes in. Cypher. Flying in the air because of the Articuno before it. And all we need to do is go for a Dual Wing Beat. They withdraw the Sceptile. That's great. Dual Wing Beat is going to definitely hurt the Great Tusk. They probably expected a U-turn there, but I figured Dual Wing Beat will do enough damage anyway. So we go for a dual wing beat anyway. And that is definitely not a two-hit KO, but nearly there. Nearly there, which is fantastic. So Scythe is going to finish off the game for us. So let's go for a dual wing beat again. Dual wing beat comes through. Great Tusk goes down. We're looking pretty good right now. Great Tusk goes down. Sceptile comes in now. And this time, there's no reason not to go for a U-turn. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for a U-turn. They go for a Terror Blast, which is going to be boosted by the Psychic type. Um, I haven't seen the Psychic Terror Blast yet. Oh, it looks pretty cool, actually. It does about half, which is fine. We go for a U-turn. That should KO the Sceptile, no problem. As down it goes. And that is going to be the game. So GG Ultimo D. That was a pretty cool one. I enjoyed that. Thoroughly. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Feel free to use the team by using the code on screen now. Let me know how it goes in the comment section below if you do use it. I'm eager to hear what your, your stories with it and all that stuff. Anyway, with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next battle.